So within my few years here, we have implemented a print magazine, again, going back to our snail mail here in the Pecos community. Um, we do have the population that doesn't have internet or a computer at home even. My grandma is 75 and would not even know how to work a computer. And that's what some of our population does look like out here in the greater Pecos Reeves County community. So we decided to start printing out an Eagle Insider magazine. And it's a little short 15-page magazine when we send it directly out, all mail out to the door of our community because we want them to know what news is going on if they're not on the internet, if they're not on social media, we're bringing stories directly to their door. And in that, I got a lot of great feedback from community members. They enjoyed seeing the full color, the pictures, if they're not on social media again, they got to see a full three-page update of the construction projects we had going on this summer. Additionally, in other digital aspects, we are in a digital world. Um, we have implemented digital newsletters at our campus parent level. We've been sending those out bi-weekly. Those are called the Eagle Echo. Additionally, I'm starting to look into doing a community engagement digital newsletter where I will email that out to subscribers within the community who aren't parents or even parents alike, where we get to brag on the amazing stories and things happening here in PBTISD. Additionally, just other informational things for people to keep them informed. I started a board brief newsletter where after every board meeting, we know those meetings are long. They can be really information <laughs> heavy. So I've been summarizing the board meetings for community members who can't make it out to the board meetings. So they have a full fledged summary that's exactly line item by agenda item. And additionally, we're going to start live streaming our board meetings Monday, right? I think so. Yeah, we're streaming on Monday. <laughs> so that's another piece. We want to keep people informed. We want there mm -hmm. to be an open line of communication. And additionally, just to open up to be more transparent with the community. You know, um, it is a small community. Words can travel fast, even if they are incorrect words. Yeah. And we want to allow people to have the resources to find out information for themselves. Absolutely. And I think it's frustrating as, as a parent to like learn information from a friend before you hear it from someone else. And it's like, I didn't hear that. I don't know. Where are you getting your information from? So I think that that's so <laughs> important to get the information out there and let them mm -hmm. know where they can get that information. And Nydia, I, I just want to give a shout out to Nydia. She's being incredibly modest about this magazine that she created. I mean, she designed the whole thing front to back. And did you do all the translations as well? Because it's in English and Spanish, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So um, I did it as a flip book. So if you flip it upside down, you're actually reading the entire English portion exactly the same in Spanish. When doing translations, um, my Spanish speaking out, not that great, but coming in perfectly fine. I can even read it. So a lot of the times when I do translations, I translate, look it over, and then I hand it over to one of our staff members here who actually is fluent. <laughs> and she helps me out there. So we did that because we also have a large Spanish speaking population and yeah. parents. And every time I go out, we had an open house last month or we had open houses last month and the amount of parents out there that I realized do speak Spanish, I realized they need their they need their needs met as well, along with our English speaking parents just as much. So mm -hmm. I figured by making the magazine flip in both languages, I'm also able to show them an English version so they could po potentially, hopefully, just tear it apart, compare page to page and learn English while reading our magazine. We, we work hard to make sure our communications in both English and Spanish mm -hmm. to support our community. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a, that's a top top priority most of the times when I'm making communications.